to Jehovah at GodInc.com. RE the penis. Dear Sir, Madam, Other, slash Vague Theistic Concept. Some time ago now, I purchased one of your penises. Now, don't get me wrong, overall, I'm very pleased with my penis. It's large, it largely works as expected, and is a lot of fun, especially at parties or with a willing partner. However, I'm not entirely convinced that this product is as described or as advertised. In very clear writing on the side of the package, pardon the pun, were the words intelligently designed. I suspect you may have actually outsourced the design of the penis to natural selection, which is of course cheaper, but an incredibly wasteful practice. For one thing, the penis manual says I should remove the foreskin immediately after installation. I'm not entirely sure about this. You see, the foreskin seems to be integral to the penis, and integral to full operation of the penis. And even by some accounts, it's essential. I investigated on the internet about this, and many people have opted not to remove it, and they are reporting much better penis performance and function, especially in terms of sex. While those who follow your instruction manual very often report malfunctions and even destruction of the penis as a whole. Is this a late beta feature you decided not to implement? Uh, what's the deal here? Why not implement it if it's so much better? I'm also hearing from older users that their penis can occasionally stop functioning, apparently for no good reason. Many have had to install special add-ons in order to have and to maintain erections. So much for a lifetime guarantee, yet they don't seem to be able to get replacements. I really have my doubts that this is designed by anyone. Uh, except maybe committee. While it was certainly efficient to combine waste management with sexual pleasure, I have my doubts about the cleanliness of such a decision. Surely it can't be entirely hygienic to do it this way. I mean, let's not even get into the proximity of the waste and sexual systems on the fairer sex. It's like you're deliberately trying to start fights over little accidents involving the wrong hole. Surely it would have been better to change things to avoid such misunderstandings. While I'm at it, a, a standard sized penis would have been a good idea. While I'm certainly happy you chose to give me one of the larger models, it does make buying contraceptives tricky. With those fitting the girth being something of a loose windsock, and those fitting the length garroting my John Thomas like an overenthusiastic ninja. This would also remove a lot of uncertainty and hurt from those who have not been so lucky as I have been in the penis lottery. Then there's the aim problem. You would think that as a long meaty tube the schlong would be capable of some degree of accuracy when eliminating urine. Sadly that does not appear to be the case. It seems to switch modes at random. One moment you can pee with laser like accuracy, another it will switch to shower head mode spraying in all directions. And I've even had pee come out at an almost 90 degree angle to the direction of aim. This simply isn't good enough. I've tried to contact your tech support several times, but the Jesus line never answers, and third party support who claim to be your intermediaries often say things like no answer is an answer, well that's not good enough so I'm contacting you directly. Given all these problems I will be sending you my penis via next day delivery and expect a replacement with all due expedience. Sincerely. Mr. D. Also, no pun intended. Crunchy base, nutty base, buttery biscuit base, acid base, smack around the face. I like buttery biscuit base. Hard base, soft base, buttery biscuit base. I like the